Welcome to a new video in my channel and I'm actually super excited about this. Uh, I'm not really sure why but uh, I had this idea that I want to design my PCB badge for I don't know so many years and uh, I mean I was struggling with the free software that I'm using to design PCBs how I can create all these sort of these cut out well it's not really cut out it's the um, where you don't have uh, any solder mask or seal, seal screen or these things and uh, so I can create a very simple badge where you know it just has a coin cell it has a switch and if I turn it on it has a couple of LEDs which are blinking LEDs so they are blinking randomly so they are not in sync but uh, to be honest I think that's the sort of the beauty of it and I made a few of them so some of them have different LEDs and none of these LEDs have a series resistor and I might be overdriving some of these LEDs for example this green is really bright uh, this one is orange that's not too bad and uh, this guy that's also orange I think I have no this is orange and this is yellow they are slightly different tint and I bought these blinking LEDs ages ago and I don't really have they didn't provide a very good spec sheet for them so I think I have sort of a forward voltage and for some of that it's 3.2 volts I think from some of them it's 2.7 volts um, so definitely I think that I'm overdriving the green ones but since they are blinking they should really survive shouldn't they right you know it shouldn't be that problem and I, I think I have a white yeah I only it looks like I only made one warm white so and I mean obviously because of trains I should make a PCB badge which, which is about a train so this is a Hungarian state locomotive it was manufactured in Hungary back in the Ooh, I should have prepared for this probably like 70s so it's uh, the M40 series quite a few of them uh, made back in the day uh, and still a few have survived in preservation and I just used the back to leave some stats about the locomotive and you know the logo of the Hungarian State Railway and uh, this Gons Marvog is the uh, that was the name of the company who uh, doesn't exist anymore so uh, they sort of ban gone bankrupt after the uh, communism collapsed and the uh, uh, well everything collapsed okay so these are the PCBs and um, uh, I just wanted to show you the uh, the whole inspiration actually came from well actually came from PCB Bay because oh that's the wrong box okay so quick editorial cut and that's the box that I meant to open so back in the day I received quite a few of these PCBs for PCB Way for Christmas and their sort of anniversary and I just love them. It's the same concept, a coin cell, LEDs that are blinking itself. I think some of them may have a series resistor. This doesn't have one. This one, uh, actually this doesn't have a series resistor either. But they use RGB blinking LEDs. I used a single color blinking LED so that's how i designed my own and uh, so that's how it looks like out of the factory you can see the pads for the leds for the headlights and i used some of the text and also the window uh, to well those areas are created as pads so they don't have solder mask on them and i also used the buffer beams these uh, stripes which are just decorative and some of these things there uh, to also remove the silk screen so they are sort of see-through and on the other side it's basically the pad for well the footprint for the um, battery holder and the switch and the rest is just text so this one is i don't know if i can show you so yeah you can see that these are see-through well if you are wearing it as a pin it not really it, it doesn't really make a difference so first attempt everything came out great uh, except the small hole for the pin I don't know what I have done but it's the wrong hole on the wrong size so I had to drill out the hole for these pins that I added uh, on these so I have to probably modify the file if I want to do any more batches and these five are hand soldered at the moment so for all these ages ago I ordered uh, pins so you can get these pins so these are the type of pins that you can just 
push and then you can easily remove so it's very easy to put on shirt and anything um, I have uh, battery holders so these are the CR3025 battery holders and then I have a bunch of LEDs so you can see white yellow red green blue and and the orange and out of these so far I've only used the uh, uh, well I think three colors focus please and that's it i mean that's the end of the project pretty much and oh there is one more from pcb way and i'm really happy for this because uh, as i said really the first attempt turned out to be great um it's a little bit fiddly to uh, to solder so i created a couple of footage so obviously the uh, the switch is uh, not that bad to solder into so i was able to purchase these smd switches sorry just from aliexpress and uh, on the back side they have a small dimple so it's easy to locate on the pcb and also on the pcb there are uh, small holes which are included in the footprint so it sits in the right place and i can just you know tag the uh, the terminals uh, for the leds what i i did i uh, tinned one of the uh, pad first and then Obviously, I located, well, I heated up that pad, I moved in or, you know, slide it in the LED with the tweezers, I let it cool, and then I soldered the other side, and um, yeah, all of them work. So, it wasn't as difficult as I initially thought, and as I said, I'm quite happy the way everything turned out. So much fun. I mean, the colors look nice uh, to the naked eye, but... It gets a little bit washed uh, with the recording because the, I think they are just too bright. I'm probably going to do more white. So I'm thinking that maybe when I go to these open days uh, and take my train, maybe I will bring a couple of them and just give it to kids. Uh, because, yeah, fun. I don't know how long the battery is going to last. Probably I should do a test, but I'm guessing a couple of hours. Uh, should be fairly decent. I mean, after all, these are blinking LEDs, so it's not like that they are... You know on all the time focus yeah we got focus they look nice i'm really happy i'm really happy i don't know if i'm going to make a series out of these um like you know different locomotives maybe if there is interest if that gets picked up by you know anyone um I mean, obviously there is another local which i really really like so probably that should be the new one but i already had a drawing for this one so it was just easy to to make this happen uh, but <laughs> there was an interesting challenge with PCB way and uh, I just want to show you so if I create a new uh, PCB then uh, I wanted to see how cheap I can get these so I ordered 10 PCBs and it was $15 with shipping and this was the economy shipping so i i picked the the cheapest shipping and i also picked the cheapest option here so obviously two layer and fr4 and 1.6 millimeters so these are the standard uh, board types so if i try to i didn't want to go any thinner because uh, uh well obviously for you know physical reasons i think 1.6 is a thick enough board so it's probably going to be sturdy enough and uh the yeah whole size anything okay so the next one well obviously this is a red engine so the background was red so there was no question about that but then and i think pretty much all the colors are the same price i think black is more expensive uh, but you can see it's you know five bucks uh, for the actual pcb uh, does it, any of them get more expensive okay this matte green made sorry yeah matte green or matte black but uh yeah i think most cases i'm going to use red maybe green or electric engine would be blue so they are the same price that's not a problem but then i thought i can play around with a seal screen as well and you know the default seal screen is white but on the red i think yellow would have been nice but look if i select the yellow seal screen all of a sudden the price goes up to 36 uh uh, dollars so it's like oh why is it so expensive i mean it's just a different color of ink um, maybe all of the machines are filled with white ink, white ink and only a few of them with yellow ink so that was a little bit um you know strange for me why the different seal screen color it costs so much but yeah that's what it is 
and the other thing is the surface finish so obviously this is the default surface finish and that's fine and um, uh, I could have selected what is the um, your yeah, plain copper so normally this is what I thought I would use because again you have white single screen and you have a plain copper which has a um, uh, well it's a plain copper so it's it's like uh, you know orangish yellowish so that would be a different color that I can use but again look at how much the price goes up if I just want plain copper which I thought would be the cheapest one because you don't have to do any surface finish you just you know just you well you don't print the silk screen on it just the bare copper and that should be the cheapest one so obviously uh, HASL is the cheaper one so if you want you know immersion silver or anything like that or hard gold then it gets even more expensive but uh, uh, yeah I was at least thinking that maybe the the plain copper would be you know just as cheap as uh, HASL but uh, it's not the case so this is why the windows and the text is actually um, silver because that's you know the default surface finish just like on the pads and everything but um, I think that's not bad because well it's reflective so it definitely stands out from the simple white silk screen so I'm not mad about that uh, at all so that I think that looks good and uh, yeah I mean I haven't really touched any of the rest uh, the other stuff so yeah I mean the size is 70 uh, 7 times 7 centimeters and as I said if you select the well, any of the colors except the matte and uh, the uh, vinyl seal screen and the default surface finish, then it's only five bucks. And the extra 10 bucks was uh, the shipping to Hungary. And that was a slow shipping, which I think it wasn't a month. It was probably about two weeks, but uh, I wasn't really rushed with this project, especially that uh, I was missing the small switches. So actually these small switches only arrived, uh, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday and I already bought to my local shop and bought a few of them because I wanted to get at least five assembled and I have another 50 here for you know finishing the rest and have some extra space for some future project so anyway that will be all I'm really happy so I wanted to share that with you I already shared with the YouTube shorts but uh, I thought I'm going to cover this uh, in a bigger video and also talk about the sort of the quirks of the various options in the PCB way ordering which uh, well don't make it too much sense for me but I guess if I would know the technology better I would understand why certain things uh, cost a lot more than the sort of the default settings okay so that will be all for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video